Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. To me being in New York, I love New York. I made a New York album produced by New York producers with New York artists featured on it. Mm -hmm. You just seen M Mano just came through the window. Oh, this is my boy Sauce. I made songs with Mano years, years, years ago. No disrespect to Bun B. He's from Port Arthur. He's not from Houston. Make a lot of people try to say, oh, well, Drake made a song with Bun B. Bun B not from Houston. No disrespect to him. This is Houston, Texas we're talking about. You just said Houston, didn't you? Did Absolutely. you say Port Arthur? Did you Absolutely. say Houston? Houston. All right, then. Wow, wow. Hey, man, listen, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Just tapping in, man. Just checking in. Like I always do, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, man, I looked at this interview in entirety yesterday on Breakfast Club with Sauce Walker, and Sauce Walker did a hell of an interview, man. I, I watched him as he, you know, because he embodies Texas on this new generation, you know, as far as the way everything is here, you know, as far as the way the music is flowing. He definitely got a dope flow. Um, I listen to him a lot because of the new generation and the way uh, these newer guys are, are, are showing forth the credibility to Texas. But, man... What's really going crazy, and I knew y'all were going to trip if I didn't say something about it, man, is Sauce Walker said, no disrespect to Bun, but he's not from Texas. And, I mean, from Houston, Texas. And, and, and when he said that, I cringed because I know already where Bun was born at and because of my insight with different people that I know. And, 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 and Bun spoke back and said, born in Houston, Northwood Manor, Moved to the west side, PA, in the sixth grade. None taken. Because Sauce said, he didn't mean it, mean no disrespect, but Bun's from Port Arthur. Now, you got to realize, we're talking just not even 80 miles down the road, an hour and 20-minute drive away. This here is, uh, th we in Texas. Texas is huge, but the influence of UGK is on an all-time high for me. So, and anybody that watched the show I already know that. So when, I, when it comes to talking about uh, where I'm born from, it, I look at influence. Bun is one of the most, it, him and Pimp C for me is so influential to what we do. I don't even be, I cringe at anybody speaking on him. And like I say, I done hugged it up with sauce and rocked out with him. But when it come down to this Texas, knowing, cause I'm an old nigga, a little bit older. I know how this started. I know how they was about the South. And it was crazy to me how, you know, this whole thing transpired up there with, with sauce saying what he said. And then in New York, you know, Mano and all of them, they cool. But this Texas thing is, is, is way different. And at the end of the day, I know he was talking about Drake, but it was like, man, come on now. You know, Bun don't have nothing to do with nothing. I, you heard me say this when Nicki Minaj had spoke. I don't play about UGK, Pimp, and Bun. I just don't do it. So when somebody say that, I cringe because I remember how hard it was for them even to get the recognition they got early on, being that I'm a little bit older than them. But I got my boy, man, Bobo, I'm about to bring on, man. Bobo, man, uh, man, did you see it, bro? Yeah, 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 I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. Shout out to Sauce Waffle, big time pimping. I respect the pimping. For sure. Uh, and respect what you're doing with the music industry, man. You're doing your thing. I love you. Um, yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. What's going down? You want to know what I think about it? I want to know what you think about it because you, you, I got to put you out there. You was the first one that put me up on game that, man, man, Bun was born in Houston. Way before any of this was said. You told me this when I, because I had talked about some things and I don't even remember what we was talking about, but you checked me up on that real early in the game when me and you started talking. Yeah, yeah, you know, when you, a lot of people don't know that, that, that Bond spent, a, I mean, you know, he, he was from a, uh, you know, I guess what you would call, a, I guess it's, I ain't gonna say a split marriage, but, you know, his mom stayed in Port Arthur and his dad lived in Houston, you know what I mean? So he was asked, I guess, when, when they were married, they, he was born in Port Arthur, like, you know what I mean? And then eventually, you know, when, it, when, when you say a childhood, of, you know, you're in school for 12 grades, and, that, and in the sixth grade, half of that you spent in Houston, you know, so, you know, he did represent Port Arthur. He yeah, but, but did you just say he was born? He said he was born in Northwood Manor. Is that in Houston? That's in Houston. So that's where he was born? That's the north side, h -Town. But let me ask you this. Do kids, do Port Arthur, when you born, do they, do they come to Houston? Because I know I'm from a country town. When you born, they got to take you, because it's so country where I'm from, they got to take you to the city. Was he actually living in Houston? I understand. 
Well, you say he left. He left there in the sixth grade. Didn't okay, he? yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> that's what he said. He left there in the sixth grade. So when you're in the sixth grade, you, that's your entire elementary. You know, that's half of your childhood. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Sixth sixth grade. You got six more years in the twelfth grade. So it's, it's simple math. Yeah. So, uh, um, I don't know the importance of it. You know, so I, I do understand what he was saying about Drake not. You know, working with no Houston artists, I've seen that. I mean, I mean, man, you talk about that. Yeah, yeah, we talk about that. How, how, how people don't respect this, this, this Texas. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and and and, and that's just one hundred. You know, but uh, to bring Bun in on it, you know, it's you know, Bun is a style. Well, Bun was more H town than than uh, I would say. Pimp was, yeah. Pimp, yeah. You know, even though you know, it, you know, Pimp was born in Crowley. You know Louisiana, but then you know he he moved at an early age to Port Arthur. He always represented Port Arthur, Texas. You know what I mean? For sure. And he st- and he stood on that, and it was really all about Texas as a whole. And I think Bun B also it's all about Texas as a whole. You know what I'm saying? Even though he he gonna represent where he is, you know he they came up out of Houston, bro. But do you think, I don't think, I don't think, like Saul said, I don't think he meant no disrespect, but on this internet, when you say something like this, it'll ripple the waves of the internet. This stuff, academics just posted, Breakfast Club, so many different bloggers taking this and running with it now. And, oh, yeah. and it's yeah. like, man, when you say something, you got to be careful on what you say because them niggas, everybody don't know Port Arthur and Houston and what the demographics and where Sauce is really demographically from in Houston. Or, exactly. You know, people don't know this stuff. So when they hear this, it's automatically going to scale up high when somebody like a Sauce Walker go on a breakfast club and say something like this. And I know he didn't mean no disrespect because he loved Texas and he know how much UGK and bun them you know, mean and for Drake to get a bun track in his career period is a bigger move for him than it is for bun to me because bun set the foundation of this southern hip hop movement that we got going man him and uh ghetto boys and all the rest of these guys pimp c that stuff is really not something you could even play with so i agree i agree you know and uh Drake did use a track, I mean, a verse from Bun to kind of open up the doors to not only Texas, but America, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at that time, you know, Bun was still, you know, fresh off, you know, off the PMC movement, free PMC movement, and and it was, it was, uh, it was hot, you know, Bun was hot at that time, so, um, I, he was living in Houston, that's all I can say, you, you know what I mean? To me, <laughs> I, like I say, I, I just represent. I just represent Texas as a whole, bro. Man, I do too. Because let me tell you something. When you start talking about where demographics at, you got DJ Screw. He from Smithville. Yep. You got you got ESG. He from he from Louisiana. Yeah. But these, but the way they represented Texas, what can we take away from them? The way they represented H Town, what can you take away from DJ Screw? Yeah. You can't take nothing away from. Them. Can't take who repped? Who repped it like these guys did? And the found, like I say, I go back to the foundation, Bobo. I go back all the way back, man. I remember what CDs I was grabbing. I was older. I remember what I was doing, bro. And at the end of the day, these people uh, mean a lot to what we built down here. And a lot of people turned a blind eye to it. People, I'm not gonna say their name. East and the West Coast, where when it first popped off, they was not rocking with us at all. Now you got to be careful going into these different places on these different platforms. You know, a lot of times I'm going to say this and I don't know how you feel about it, but a lot of times I feel like a lot of times we get, we get slit, you know, pretty much sidestep when it come down to representing the culture down here, because a lot of times, a lot of these artists are not coming on our platforms, man. And, 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 and it's crazy because we really rock with these young dudes, man. And the old dudes. But a lot of time when they get to a certain status, they not they not coming back on these on the boss talks on the beehives on the super tights on the real lives on the on the uh, say cheeses. They, you know this is what I'm looking at when we do these runs. We got to be careful how we set ourselves up to look when it come down to people looking at us as a whole in the South. And I'm gonna say that. And you may not feel that way, but I'm just telling you how I feel. Well, I feel that way too. But you know what? You know I also feel like 
Like you always say, you got to rock with whoever will rock with you. I do say that. That is one of my sayings. <laughs> yeah, you got to rock with whoever rock with you. And then, you know, and, 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 and the music industry is big, but it's small at the same time. It's gonna, everything do come back around. You see these people. You know what I'm saying? You're going to run into them. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, you done ran into some of them. I done definitely ran into some of them. You know what I'm saying? I done, I done, I done asked people to be on my show, and they like, you know, look at me like, you know, Promise me that they come in and then get on the phone. There's something completely different. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I, I just, I just chalk it up and keep moving on. Cause nah, you know, man, I, I get it. No show, bro. No, I get it. I get it. And you've been doing a hell of a job over there at Super Tight. Ever since we started, we've been locked in. And I just know Thank that. You, I just know that. You know, um, we got to do a better job of unifying and not. We can't be going. And doing these platforms and 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 let nothing separate us, bro. We can't let nothing separate us. We got still we as OGs as dudes they look up to or whatever. We got to set the foundation and say it. We might not can do it, but at least we can adhere to it that this is what need to happen. And I, I the oh, yeah. unity is what's needed in the community, bro. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I'm I'm in 100 percent agreement with you. You know, but you know, niggas go nigga. <laughs> man, you gotta understand. I like to see, like, even Lil Kiki and all these guys down here, man. Pow Wow, uh, uh, all of the Big Tuck, all these guys, man. A lot of these people who did a lot and have have been doing during that era, because there's a second phase to that. You got two or three phases. Like I say, I tell people about the UGK phase from big timers all the way up to super tight. That's a whole phase, man. A whole run, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, you got to think know. about where everybody was at during that time, because when you go back to that, you don't see a lot of nobody, bro. No, 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 you don't. But you know, that's just the way it is, bro. And you know, like I say, I'm in agreement with you about, about about these youngsters and and the new wave artists that you know they don't represent the where they from, and so that's what the, it's kind of. Uh, double-edged sword when you talk about it, you know, so you, you just I, I always have a wait-and-see attitude about it. But they're going to look at you like like you the old nigga talking when you say something, for sure, but at the end of the day, if you don't say nothing, then you ain't going to never be heard, and you're not making a difference. I get it. You know, everybody, we do, we love Sauce Walker. We love uh, propane. We love all these younger dudes that came in under that whole DJ Cho's, uh, uh, Beat King, the Houston, you know, the, the all that they doing and the, and these guys over here when it come down to it. You know, all of the ones that represent over here in the same way, the big extra plugs and all the guys that rock with him, the trap boys and, and, and you know what I mean, oh, yeah. the yellow beezes. We understand the phases, but we are Texas, man. And like I said, I love all these guys and what they do down here and they hell on the wheels when it comes to the music. I met Sauce Walker, hugged it up with him, talked to him. And I'm gonna be real with you, man. Real respectable dude. So when I when I heard this, it didn't make me feel no different type of way. A lot of times it's education as well. He probably didn't know that Bun was born in Houston and that he was all the way up to the sixth grade. That's why Bun say no disres no no disrespect taken. I really think he just didn't know that part. Yeah. And 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 he probably. But when you say something like this on a on a whole scale like like Breakfast Club is. You got to come back and magnify the truth on the same level, if you want to. You can't really because I don't think you're going back on the Breakfast Club. You want a public, you want a public apology. I don't want a public apology, but I know he understands now that Bun is from, you know, that was. I think he's gonna respect the fact that Bun said what he said. He just probably gonna say, "Big brother, I didn't know it," because he respect Bun. Oh yeah. He got a lot of love. Bun got songs with him. Oh, for sure. It ain't no, it ain't no, 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 no clicks between the boys at all. No yeah, man. yeah. We love each other when it come to that. Yeah. But I just don't like the way it's spilled in the street. You know, I'm real biased when it come down to demographics. I just feel like a lot of times when you look at these complex lists and all these stuff that come out. You know, the the, the South got to stand its true ground. I, I'm speaking in the spirit of pimp, man. I just know. What do you? I gotta ask you that before I get out for here, man. You know, and now you, I can ask you that. But what would Pimp have to say about something like this? You know. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Publicly, he gonna always rival Book. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, 
Pimp love the H too. Oh, he definitely love the H, man. See, see, see the problem. It ain't no separation. The problem comes with this, bro. You got bloggers out there right now stirring up the fact that Bum B ain't representing Port Arthur. And see, and then you got coupled with the fact that you got some people in Port Arthur but her, excuse me, because Port Arthur, I, I love Port Arthur. They go around saying things like Bum B don't represent Port Arthur. I done heard that from some local people from Port Arthur. But man, I don't want to keep it, you know, bro. Owen has always represented Port Arthur, bro. On every album, I don't know an album where he he didn't represent PA, bro. Is there something wrong with representing both? I never heard him on the album say he was from Houston, bro. Never heard him, but it, but but you seen it in a text, but you seen it, <laughs> you seen it on his page. Yeah, bro. I mean, uh, I'm just saying, bro. It's 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 always been Port Arthur. It's always been what what they did in Port Arthur. Always has. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They don't talk about what happened in in the, in the Houston streets. They talk about what happened in the PA streets. Well, that's just me, man. Maybe I listen to music a lot differently than everybody else do. No, 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 no. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, that whole thing was influential. I think I think PA uh, influence from UGK came into Houston. Houston influence from uh, Screw a lot of times, and just the way that 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 Pimp and uh, Bun them linked up with DJ Screw, all that stuff got screwed up. You feel me? All that stuff started rocking together, and I think that was the that that stuff helped build, man. That was the build up of the Riding Dirty movement. So I'm being real with you. I, all is all of it's together with me. Like I said on, earlier before we got online, when I see Bun and Slim Thug and Pow Wow and all. These people were going to Mike's uh, CD store down in Longview. They were going to T-Town Music. They were going to Big T. They was over there in Houston. What's the name of that shop you always mentioning? What, which one? In Houston? In Houston. Kings. There was shops. There was a lot of shops in Houston. Kings, no. They, they was at the flea market. Uh, yeah, that's what you always say. Over at King's Flea Market. King Flea Market. Well, at, at boy, at boy Russell had a, a record store over there. Big Russell. Rest in peace. Big Russell. We had chokes down in Marshall, Texas, too. Like I said, I seen them boys dropping this stuff off, man, every Mike's week. And Tyler. Mike's and Tyler. Mike's and Tyler. So you know how this stuff was really going, man. You know what really built this up. Nobody wasn't checking for us when these boys were passing them CDs out like that. We made them fill us through the, magne the, the magnetic energy of what we did as far as the way we supported them on the underground level that made them peak. And when they did, they took off and soared. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly how it was. But see, people don't know about that grind. Yeah, yeah. And, and people, and then when, as time goes on, people forget about that grind. You know what I mean? The grind now has always been about this, you know, social media and the internet. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard to make these, these, this new generation remember how we had to go from city to city, state to state, in our, in our own, in our own vehicles, and try to make something happen. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. And that's that's what it was. Well, I can tell you right now, I, and I'm gonna end it like this, man. I'm a like I said, we love Sauce, and we know already Sauce. The internet is the phase that he's in, so this actually is a win for Sauce because at the end of the day, this is what we build it nowadays. I know he didn't mean it that way, but because of the energy that 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 interview is gonna take, because of that. Uh, it's a it's a win for Sauce, and we love Sauce. We love Bun. We love UGK. Uh, we we love all the stuff we represent down here, from the J Princes, the Cash Money, all of that. Everything that we did, Master P, we embodied all this down here in the South, bro. And and and, and the big mics and all the stuff that you know, Mister Mike. So I just really gotta say, man, we gotta have more unity when it comes down to how we display this, uh, the way we put our stories out here because them that what was done up there they gonna clip that and take that when he said you know i love the, the, the new york and you know i'm known in new york because at first he called himself he said texas first my my biggest market then new york yeah. but them they, you know yeah. but man let me tell you something man at first there was no way 
back in the day when this first popped off that anybody from our little old small town could even got to these places and been recognized in any way by these guys. So no, I'm just no. saying, man, we got to stand our ground on who we are. I ain't saying we want to separate. I really want to unify, but we got to bring truth to what really happened and what's happening with this music, man, and with what we stand on, that sauce, man. You know what I'm saying? I read it. Man, I'm check sure. it, man. Walker, bro. Shout out to Sauce Walker, man. It's been another great segment. Boss Talk 101, make sure you like, subscribe, become members, man. Hey, man, listen, man, Texas, man, stand up, man. Bum B, hey, I see you. Sauce, I see you, man. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see me.